What's up everybody and welcome back. My name is Dark Zenam and today I am playing Hitman. My midterm exams got over recently and I finally got time to make a video and upload. Today we are at Paris trying to kill these two targets, Viktor Novikov and Dalia Margolis. My mission starts off by these two bodyguards greeting me and showing me the way in. Haha, little do they know their boss is gonna be dead when I come out and leave the event hall. I spend some quality time on the red carpet cause I know I would get a chance like this only in these monotonously assassinating video games. I go inside the building and I see my first target, Mr. Viktor Novikov. I thought it would be a good gesture to go to him and snitch about the ICA, so I waited in line behind Congressman Walsh. But then his security guard stopped me from meeting him and so I decided that I would not only kill Victor but I would kill his puny simp as well. I tried to get some clues on how to eliminate them as they were always roaming in crowded areas. I eavesdropped some conversations and proceeded with a plan. They both were basically discussing about how jealous they were of this guy named Helmut Kruger as he was one of the subscribers of my channel. By the way, if you don't want to be jealous like these poor creatures, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I first knock off a backstage staff and ditch my suit. In order for no suspicion, I even dumped the staff's body in a box. Then I went on a hunt for Helmut Kruger. I searched for him quite some time and eventually found him busy doing a photo shoot in front of a helicopter. I waited a lot for him to finish but it wasn't happening. So I roamed around the building until I came across these two waiters talking about how Pakistan landed in the top 25 dumbest countries in the world. I felt it would only be right to knock out one of the waiter for talking shit about a country who supports terrorism. So I did the same and wore his uniform to show only I can be the waiter who can do so. I went to the kitchen and found a secret recipe for Victor's favorite drink. At last, I got a lead which can get me one step closer to killing him. I went to the waiter's room to steal some rat poison. After that, I referred the secret recipe so that it would be easier to tend the bar. I made his special drink and added my sweet touch to it. I don't know why people say mixing rat poison in a drink is a crime. I mean, I at least did not write a bad review which led me to 5 years of jail time. I waited for a while and saw Victor drinking his last drink. It seems my plan worked as his stomach started to ache and he was heading towards the washroom. I followed him to the washroom and to my surprise, his puny simp didn't follow in. I barged in and snapped his neck and the next thing I know, he is dead. I got rid of the evidence so that his death would be a mystery. I felt satisfied that I took one target out until I remembered what his bodyguard did to me. So I waited for him to go and check on Victor. As expected, he went inside the washroom and in a blink of an eye, he was knocked. I wore his uniform so that I could get access to the second floor and found out that he has a phone as well. Now that one of the target is over, I was making my mind on how to execute the second one, Dahlia Margolis. I mean, I am a simp myself and it would take beyond self-control to take out a target of this sort. I reached the second floor and saw one of the staff playing Foggy. I mean, it is not his mistake. Even if I was paid only a couple of pounds for managing a bunch of bald-headed weirdos, I would do the same thing as well. But as a true supporter of PC gaming, I went ahead and knocked this guy off. I wore his uniform to check whether I would get access to the third floor, but knowingly, I didn't. So I made a plan B and that was executing one of the guards of the second floor and using their outfit to get to the third floor for the second target, 
Dalia Margolis. I went for the execute, strangled him and dragged him inside. Everything went planned until one of the guard found me dragging the body. I had no other option but to use the 4G skills the staff taught me. I took out my pistol and shot him in the face, then cleared his pal who was pretending to give support as well. I swept all three guards but I had failed the plan as now there is a pile of bodies ready to be found. I had no other option but to hide in the closet. Psych! I came up with an emergency plan which I totally forgot about it until I opened up my inventory. I still had Puny Sim's phone. There was an option to call in code 17. I didn't know what it would do but I gave it a shot. I gave a call and boom, the target is in lockdown and she will now be escorted by multiple guards. I thought I just made the situation worse but to my surprise, she was being escorted outside. This is perfect for me as she will be coming down to second floor instead of me going top. I used Agent 47's special ability and observed from where she is coming. I stood near the entrance so that I would get a clear shot but no, she was going to a different exit. I made a run for it as this is the only shot I have to complete my mission. I used my ability again and found out she is right behind my back. I took a good position and waited for her guards to follow her. It is now or never. Boom! She is out and now it is time for me to get out of this shit show. They found me and started shooting me but that doesn't matter now cause I know exactly what to do. Jump out of the window. I covered almost half of the building in order to find something to get down. I finally got down and started to head outside. As I was leaving, I was greeted by those two guards again. Irony at its finest. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you all enjoyed as always. If you guys like this video then don't forget to smash that like button cause it will help my channel to grow. This is Dark Zenum signing out.